Tool Hut USA has all the scan tools, scopes, programming interfaces that you'll need. My name is Sam. I'm a mobile programmer, diagnostician, equipment sales training and support. Uh, today we're going to be doing the procedure to replace the body control module in a 2014 Ram. A couple things I want you to know about this vehicle before we get started. Uh, it is at a, a dealership. It's not at a Chrysler dealership. And it has been diagnosed as needing a body control module. The wipers do not work. It does not correct the problem. I still think it's beneficial to show you the procedure to use J2534 to do the uh, BCM replace function. Uh, I'm going to tell you also that I try to use J2534. I do end up using the Lytec to complete the job and I'll show you why. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up the J2534 application. You're going to choose 2010 and newer and then your interface device. Whatever you're using for interface. I have a lot of interfaces on mine. And then you're going to log in. You do need a subscription to do this. So if you haven't purchased a subscription already, make sure you follow the directions in my uh, Chrysler video uh, opening your account and downloading the application. It's going to read some data here. It's trying to look for the vehicle, kind of module it's got in it. Alright, and then you see that the body control module does not come up on the left hand side for available modules to program. We're going to go right into the body control module. We're going to see that there's no flashes at all for it. There is an update for the PCM, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, I like the powertrain to be up to date with the latest calibrations. It is a used car, it is at a dealership, so this might help with the drivability or some kind of complaint they may have. Uh, this is not really to fix anything, so we're just going to go ahead and flash the ECU here. Just an update. And I did speed up through the process, so it does not happen this fast, unfortunately. And just go through goes through the process of put the update in the PCM here. You do the same procedure if you'd replace the PCM with a new PCM. You gotta get a couple of screens at the beginning that you didn't get here, but uh, essentially it's the same procedure all right once the PCM is updated here I want you to turn the key off it's going to wait probably 30 seconds or so. Again, I sped this up a little bit. And then it's going to have you turn the key back on again. And it's going to tell you it was successful. If it was successful. Hopefully it was successful. Flash complete. Now we're going to go to the uh, RFH the radio frequency hub. And what we're going to do in here is we're going to do the BCM replace function. Now one of the, my concerns is at the top here you'll see that there's no uh, the VIN is all question marks. 
So I'm going to go through this procedure here. It does want the four digit PIN number from the dealer. I do not have it available right this moment. Uh, I'm going to open up my YTEC. I'm going to show you why I didn't use J2534 to finish that job. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go down at the bottom and enter diagnostics procedures and I want to restore vehicle configuration. This will write that VIN into that body control module. I think that's important. I've seen errors where this isn't done. Like I say, I did look for this function in J2534 and did not see it. I think this is important. So I do the restore vehicle configuration. It downloads the data from Chrysler, puts it into the vehicle, which at the same time puts the VIN number and all the modules in the vehicle. And then I'm going to go to the RFH. There's actually an update on the RFH with this vehicle, but we just go through this procedure here with the restore vehicle configuration. It does take a few seconds to download the information that it tells you to disconnect the tool, shut the key off, close the doors, or walk away from it for a minute. All right, so now I'm going back into my YTEC. I've ID'd the vehicle, I've logged back in. And I'm gonna to go to the RFH again in YTEC. There was probably an update for it in J2534. I was uh, too distracted looking for the restore vehicle configuration. Uh, so it's very possible that I overlooked this update. This probably could have been done using J2534. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the update on the RFH as well. Now Chrysler makes you choose some... The reason you're doing the flash, um, it's not a warranty vehicle, so I don't necessarily give them a lot of information here. Not real sure why they want the data. Don't think it's my position to try to help them fix their problems. So We're going to go through the update process on the RFH here. Again, these screens have been sped up. Once it has done the update on the RFH, I'm going to do the BCM replaced function. Again, I think it's important that the control modules have the latest calibrations in them, especially if it's something you're trying to, a procedure you're trying to do inside that, inside that module. So, tells me my flash program was successful. You always clear all the DTCs. You get all kinds of communication codes when you're programming. Uh, don't try to fix those codes. Now we're going to go to the BCM replace function. Again, this probably could have been done with J2534. I just felt that I was missing a step not being able to do the restore vehicle configuration. I just tell it, yes, the PIN number is correct. It transfers the secret key to the body control module. Alright, so what I wanted to do here is I've already explained to you that it didn't fix the vehicle. So I'm just going to go through here and show you a couple things. Some of the data that I looked at on this for the wipers. I was not hired to diagnose this. This is more, I was trying to help the technician here for a minute give him some direction. I cannot command the wipers from the body control module to make them work. I command them, but they don't work. So, go through my data and I'm gonna turn the wiper switch on and off a few times. I can see that the the body control module is seeing the data from the body control module 
or from the wiper switch, rather. Um, so I know that my switch is good. The PIDE control module is seeing it, and it can't command it, so I suspect there's a problem between the PIDE control module and the motor. Uh, like I say, I was not hired to diagnose it. I have not seen the wiper motor move. I have not tried to test it myself. When you do mobile programming, this is just one of those things that you run into. And like I say, I'm just trying to help the technician here, so I just thought I'd share with you some of the data that I was looking at. Uh, the headlights do flash bright and dim and all that too, so I'm pretty confident that my, my switch is in good shape. I do have a code for a shorted wiper switch. Here is the wiring diagram inside the Tech Authority service information. Again, I just thought I'd share it with you. Not a whole lot to it, really. And then down below, there's some step-by-step -step procedures for this code. Uh, I'm not going to go over those. Like I said, I didn't spend a lot of time on them. I just thought I'd share with you the information that was available for this code. So there's quite a bit of information. There's quite a few possibilities that could be what's wrong with this vehicle. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you uh, want to be notified as I release new videos, just hit the bell. Have a great day.